Welcome to Ustak Technical. Here we aim to provide best solutions to your daily problems in simple, easy and understandable ways. Keep watching this channel and subscribe. Welcome back. In this tutorial 3, I will show you how to add text and image elements into your project and how to position and manipulate them on the canvas. Watch this video to end. Let's move on to the topic. Click the Add Image button on the left of the toolbar. This will take you to the Add Image screen. Here you can add the images in different steps. I will show you all the methods like by typing keywords into the search field or by browsing the image library folders with library button or from recently used images. You can also import your own images using the browse and web options at the bottom. The svgstudio.com link takes you to SVG Studio where you will find thousands of high quality images specifically created for video scribe by professional artists. Step 1 to add image. Click on the library button to view and browse the library folders. VideoScribe comes with hundreds of original images for you to use, so you can get started straight away. The images are organized into folders, for example arrows are business. Some of these folders are only available if you are online as indicated, but the base set will always be there. It's worth taking the time to explore the images provided. You can preview any of the images by right-clicking and selecting Preview Image. Go into the People folder and choose an image. Click on the image to bring it onto the canvas. Reposition and resize the image as you like. To move elements around the canvas, simply click and drag them around. To resize elements click and drag the tabs in the corners. To rotate them just click and hold on the icon in the center of the element. Tip if you make a mistake when moving, rotating or resizing an element, use CTRLZ. To edit properties of element, click on the properties button. On the image property screen, you will see three tabs, draw, move in and morph. Under the draw tab, you will find following options. Here you can explore various options by using minus and plus signs, for brush, colors, solid and angel options of the image, try different option view the results. Furthermore, you can set the animation, pause and transition time in seconds. To replace the image, click on replace image and browse for the desired one. To change or add the filters such as drop shadows, click this button and explore various options available. To change the hand right option or to remove click this hand button to explore more. To remove the element from scribe, select the image and click this delete button. Under the move tab, you will find one difference, that is to move image instead of drawing with hand or pencil etc. All other option for animation are same like draw.
Under the Morph option, you will find same one difference to morph an image from the other. All other options are same as of draw. Once you have done, click on tick to see the result on canvas screen. To add a text to project, click text button, type your text here. To change font of text click font button. Here explore lot of fonts. Select font of your choice. To change the text color, click the color button and select the color. To select the hand right of the text, click hand button and select the hand. In Canvas, you can resize, reposition the text too. Once you have done, click on tick to see the result on Canvas screen. Note if you select an image by mistake and it appears the canvas, use the delete key to remove it. Click on this button to save the project. On the save screen, type the name of the project. You can create folder here. Change the folder to store file. Click this button to export to your local computer drive. Click this button to export to save on Sparkle Cloud Space. Click this Adobe Acrobat button to save in PDF format. Dear friends, I hope this video will help you to understand the topic. If you face any problem please ask me in the comment area of this video, and I will answer you shortly. Please like and share this video on social media, and also subscribe to my channel and push bell button to watch my upcoming videos. In the next video, I will make a demonstration project to show you all the image effects and much more. Till then bye, and have good day, thanks. If you feel this video was informative then please like, comment and subscribe to my channel to watch my upcoming videos on other different problems and their solutions. Till next video bye and have a good day.